Right now, we are just hours away from Election Day, and on the ballot tomorrow are five of the nine school board seats for Atlanta Public Schools. 11 Alive's Tracy A. McPeer is live at Sutton Middle School, and Tracy, you had a chance to speak with some of the parents. The parents we spoke with tell us their main concern is the hiring of the next superintendent, and it's a decision this next school board will make. Well, I have three kids in every single level of the Atlanta public school system. I have elementary, middle, and high school. I'm a graduate of APS. So voter Amy Ard says she is fully invested in APS and will be voting tomorrow on the school board seats that are up for grabs. Top of mind for Ard is that this school board will hire the next APS superintendent. It seems like we have not been able to hold on to a superintendent. It's topsy-turvy. We need stability. Here are the candidates on the ballot tomorrow. In District 1, Katie Howard is running unopposed. In District 3, incumbent Michelle Olympiadis is running again. She's a former business executive with a long history volunteering in education. Her opponent is Ken Zeff. Zeff founded the education nonprofit Learn for Life. He's the former interim superintendent of Fulton County Schools and was a White House fellow during the George W. Bush administration. In District 5, Erica Yvette Mitchell is facing for a third time Raynard Johnson. She defeated him in 2017 and 2021. And then there are two at-large seats up for grabs. In District 7, incumbent Tamara Jones is facing two opponents, Alfred Shivy Brooks and William Sarden. Sarden is a nurse and has three kids attending APS high schools. Brooks' website touts that he'd be the first active teacher to serve on the board. He teaches high school in Clayton County. And Tamara Jones has a history of parent advocacy roles within APS and has worked in architecture and urban planning around Metro Atlanta. And in District 9, Jessica Johnson will attempt to hold on to the at-large seat from Nicoyo Effiong Lewis. Johnson was appointed to the board earlier this year when Jason Estevez's seat was vacated after he was elected to the Georgia Senate. She is an education nonprofit executive with the Scholarship Academy. Lewis is an attorney who also has an experience as an educator, having been an elementary school teacher and instructional coach. I am looking at every single candidate as a standalone. I'm not looking to send everyone back or put a whole, whole new people in. I think that if we think carefully about it as a system, we will find the right people for the job. For more information on the candidates, we have a voter guide on our website. That's 11alive.com. In Buckhead, I'm Tracy A. McPeer, 11alive News.